Today is all about chicken drumsticks and how to turn this simple meat into something amazing. Hi, I'm Taryn. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to cook, plate and present the humble chicken drumstick. We'll cook it in a Japanese inspired sauce and then I'll show you how you can take your drumstick plating to the next level. Well, these drumsticks aren't going to cook themselves, so let's get started. These are the ingredients we need. We've got our chicken drumsticks, and for the sauce, we've got an orange for the juice, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce and honey, chili, garlic and ginger, some cinnamon, and to garnish, spring onion and sesame seeds. First, we'll put together our sauce ingredients. I've got a fresh orange to juice, but any fruit juice, like apple, pineapple or cranberry, works well too. Then add in the balsamic vinegar. I'm adding these ingredients straight into a measuring jug to save on dishes. Then add the soy sauce and the honey. You don't have to be too precise on measuring these ingredients. It all adds to the lovely stickiness of the drumsticks. Then I'll add a sprinkle of cinnamon. Rather than crushing the garlic, I'm going to give it a little squash with my knife just to bruise and break the outer layer. This will allow the flavour to still seep out into the sauce while it's boiling, without ending up with little bits of garlic in the sauce. I'll add in a little piece of chilli. Cut it in half and remove the seeds. Depending on how hot you like things, you can add the whole chilli if you want to. Lastly, I'll add a couple of slices of fresh ginger. We don't need to peel it, as it's only a flavouring and won't be eaten. While my chopping board is out, I'll cut the spring onion garnish. Since this is a Japanese inspired dish, I'm going to thinly angle slice the green part of the spring onion. I'll put it into some iced water to curl up. You'll see the magic of the iced water at the end. Now we can add the chicken drumsticks to a large pot. Pull the skin nicely over the flesh. This adds to the end look of the drumsticks. I always do this, whether I'm roasting, barbecuing, boiling or frying chicken drumsticks. Then pour in that lovely sauce we've just made. And top it up with cold water until it's just covering the chicken. Now we can turn on some heat, and once it's boiling, let it simmer away for about 20 minutes. Give it a stir occasionally to make sure they all cook through. The internal temperature of the cooked chicken should be 75 degrees Celsius, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, you'll want to be sure the chicken juices are running clear. This means it's cooked. Remove the chicken, then turn up the heat a little so that we can start reducing the liquid to create a thicker sauce to glaze the drumsticks. When the drumsticks are cool enough to handle, you can remove the knuckles. Some people eat and love these, so feel free to leave them on. But if you're wanting to present them for a special occasion, removing the knuckles gives a much cleaner look. Talking about presenting them, this is the plate we're going to use today. The chicken is a beautiful dark colour, so we want to use a lighter coloured plate to create some contrast. Before we plate them, we need to bring them back to the boil to warm them through and coat them in that nice sticky glaze. And we're ready to plate them. Start by placing one lying flat on a bit of an angle. Then lie the next one the opposite way standing it up on the first one and keeping the bone sticking upwards. Continue alternating them like this. You will miss a few dots of sauce on the plate and that's okay, but I'm not happy with this big pool here, so I'll wipe it clean with a slightly damp piece of paper towel. Now we can spoon a little more of the sauce over. Doesn't that look so much better than just having a bowl of drumsticks on the table? And we're not finished yet. I'm going to add a sprinkle of sesame seeds, 
which adds to the Japanese feel of this dish and the colour contrasts with the dark chicken. And here's our green spring onion curls. They've just started curling up. The longer you leave them in the iced water, the more they'll curl. Wow, doesn't this make a simple chicken drumstick look amazing? These are fantastic on a finger food menu too. I've used a rectangle plate to stand these up on. It's white to contrast with the dark chicken drumsticks. Standing them up against each other creates height and the sesame seed and spring onion garnish adds a beautiful colour contrast. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Happy drumsticking! If you've enjoyed this video, I've got another one lined up for you up here and a playlist ready to go down here. See you next time!